Hello, I'm Mike Corvick, an energy specialist at Minnesota Valley Electric Cooperative. Often members call and have questions about their electric bill. No one ever calls to say their bill is too low, but we do get some calls when they seem unusually higher than normal. The first thing you have to do is figure out what is normal. Has your bill just recently spiked? A spike is a bill that is 20 to 40 percent more compared to a bill from a similar time period. Weather, days in a billing cycle, and events have, that have occurred in your household all make a difference. You need to compare the KWH usage, not the dollars you paid, with the KWH usage of a bill from a year ago. You can't compare your bill to your neighbor's bill because no two homes or families usage is exactly the same. Many appliances and gadgets continue to use energy when you are not using them. Clocks on DVD players, gaming consoles, coffee makers, and many other things all continue to use electricity even when you think they are idle. We call this vampire or phantom load. How often do you run your dishwasher or do laundry? Throughout the year, such as the holidays or when hosting visitors, these large energy hogs are used more often than you think. Ever since Edison invented the light bulb, fathers have been telling their kids to turn off the lights. Are your lights on in an empty room? The same goes for ceiling fans. Fans do no good unless someone is in the room enjoying the breeze. Also, during the winter, we turn on more lights and leave them on longer than in the summer because the days are shorter. How old are your appliances? Older appliances often have to work harder. Also new appliances are built with energy efficiency in mind. Okay, admit it. How many new electronics do you have in your home compared to just five years ago? How many gadgets get charged overnight or all throughout the day? There are some unusual culprits as well. Are you running a dehumidifier? It costs about a dollar a day plus tax, and that's $33 a month. Do you have a well, and is it functioning properly? Do you have a stock tank heater, or two? Is the snow melt on your roof still running in July? Are you heating your basement floor in the summer and not aware of it? How about your furnace fan? Do you keep it running all the time? Turn it to the auto mode and you'll save half. Do you have a pool pump? This is a big energy draw. Get it installed on the energy wise meter and save. Do you have a good cover on your hot tub? This helps to cut down on your water heating costs. How many refrigerators do you have? Is the one in the garage keeping just a case of pop cool? These are all things we turn on and just take for granted. Make sure that you shut them off when not in use. Did you know you can access the same electric usage data and charge for your MVEC account that I can? Go to our website, www.mvec.net, and follow the Smart Hub link. You can use the information here to become energy aware. You will see exactly how much electricity you use and when. My job is to help you figure out your electric bill, but to save time and money there are things you can do first. You know your home and the ways you use electricity better than anyone else. You need to put on your detective's hat and investigate the obvious first. And don't forget to use the Smart Hub. If you've done everything you can to cut out on necessary electric use and still feel your electric bill is abnormally high, Give me a call. 